Hi there, wonderful awakening beings and spiritual souls. Jo Rose of JoRose.com, numerologist and energy forecaster. And in this video, I'm talking to you about the number zero. Yes, zero is a number. It happens to be a very important number because for the digital world, if we did not have the zero and the one, we wouldn't have a digital world and therefore I would not be communicating to you right now. So as you can see, it's highly important. And when I added together the numbers for the letters in the word zero, it reduced to a one. So zero and one are so closely connected. Interesting, you may think. I think it's one of those questions that find conversations going on forever and no one really sure of the answer. For example, some say that it all must have started from nothing, when others say it must have started from something. Hmm. What come first, the chicken or the egg? Hmm. Interesting, you may think. The zero is a bit like, think about it, water, heat, electricity, love, energy, intuition. It exists, but you can't see it. Hmm, I know, <laughs> mind boggling, isn't it? So the zero does exist because we talk about it. doing a numerology reading and people give me their date of birth because that is the first element that we start with in numerology and they're dictating the numbers and they go to me blah 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 oh whoa stop oh oh is not even a number it's a letter and often when we see something written down, because we rarely talk about zero, our mind sees O more often in the language, it calls it an O. Stop there, let it go. It's not an O. Now others say to me, naught, again, that's not correct either. Because naught means nothing. Naught, come from the old language. Naught means nothing, so don't use naught in the place of zero. Because when you understand the importance of the zero, I feel sure you're going to look at this differently. And when we think about zero or we use zero, that's the correct because zero is a number in its own right. Therefore, it is something, it's also a number. When you go to a numerologist, or somebody comes to me and they want to know what's in store for them in the, this lifetime, we use two elements. We use the date of birth and we start with the life path because this is what the soul has come to evolve with in this lifetime. And to understand more about your life path numbers, go check the link above for the playlist. The other element we use is the alphabet. Now, each letter of the alphabet has a value one to nine. There is no zero in the alphabet. So again, we're not really using the zero. Now, when we calculate the life path number, what we're doing is adding together numbers. And we're focusing on reducing down to a single digit. The life path number, single digit. Now, I'm aware there are master numbers, but for this video, we're gonna leave them aside and focus on the energies of the base numbers. So the base numbers will come because we've added down or reduced down to find out the single digit. Now, in this calculation, and this is why I am so adamant about the way you calculate anything in numerology, and I calculate the life path number the same as I would calculate and everyone calculates the name the same, why aren't we doing it with the life path number? And that is that every element is individual in its own right, so we get to that element first and then add the whole amount together. 
So when I'm adding together, I would reduce the day down to a single digit, the month down to a single digit, unless it's a master number, but leave that aside, and the year down to a single digit. Then I would add them all together. Well, in doing this, in any way now, in this millennium and this century, the lowest we could ever arrive at is a four energy. And that would be somebody born in the year 2000 on the 1st, 10th, or 19th or 28th of January or um, October. But anyway, so we can't get any lower. So we certainly can't get to zero. Interesting, that last millennium it would have been three. So. What we do is we reduce down, and yet there could be a zero in that calculation. But what we look at is numbers with energy, and the zero does not have any specific attributes. One to nine does, and just in brief, when we look at them, the one energy would be telling us to be focused and determined, independent. The two energy, support, collaborative, harmony. The three is about imagination and creativity and fun. The four is about grounding and foundations and security. The five is about adventure, variety and freedom. The six is about home and nurturing. The seven is in internally introspective the eight is about looking at the outside world the physical world but tying it up with what we discovered in the internal world the spiritual aspect and the nine is letting it all go and when we talk about an epicycle in numerology an epicycle is one to nine so still we do not see the zero but when we calculate the zero is there so where does the zero belong? Does the zero belong at the beginning or at the end? Well, let me share. When we think about the zero and it has no attributes, what happens with the zero is it enhances one of those numbers one to nine. It multiplies the energy. It intensifies and it is asking you to go deeper and feel that initial base energy. So the zero is an intensifier and it is a number. And when we see zero, it's either at the beginning, zero, one to nine, and the next number is 10 and we have a zero again. So if we have a life path 10, one, We've got the zero in there, and that is asking you to intensify the one energy, to really get to know this on a deeper level. So as you can see, the zero is very valuable. And whether it becomes before the one or the nine, it's all about beginnings and endings, and it can go either way. Depending when you are vibrating at that moment or during your life, if it's a life path number, it's asking you to look at what's going on. Sometimes we might have to let go of some of these behaviors we have because intense aggression might not be doing us any good. And sometimes we might have to intensify our independence to get out there and be seen. So it can go either way. Neither's right or wrong, as long as you are checking in to understand what it is teaching you. Another time we'll see a zero is when we are reducing. Now I've recently made a video about the, the bridge number, and that would be looking at the difference between two numbers. And in the bridge video, I talk about the life path number and the personal year number and find the bridge. And I say that if you are taking the same life path and the same personal year number, then the bridge, the difference is zero. And what I said in that video was, you're very fortunate you've got zero. You're not being steered anywhere. So you have a choice. However, if your life path number and your personal year number are the same, you just intensified it anyway. So look at that energy. 
and my mind has gone blank. <laughs> oh yes, now let's come back to the zero. The zero, our friend, the zero. What does zero mean? Zero is about the unconsciousness. And I've often read in books about the 10 being the cosmic consciousness. It is the awakening. It is the intuition coming in. So when we look at the 11, the number of illumination, or any of the master numbers that come along after the 10, what we have is highly awakened beings. We had the year 2000 with three zeros and we'll keep the zero for the whole of the century. We are awakening now and what the zero is suggesting to us is infinite potential. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I hope I've covered a number of questions that have been put to me about the number zero. It is a number, it is important, it is about the wholeness, the oneness, the all and the nothing, the beginnings and the endings. It enhances, it multiplies, it intensifies, it's cosmic consciousness and it's infinite potential. So the zero is an amazing number. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, press that bell so you can stay notified of my videos and do please share. I'm always bringing out new videos, whether they be the life path numbers that I've mentioned or personal year numbers. Take a look at that link above. They will be changing as the start of the new year arrives and way more numbers and combinations of how to use numerology. Thank you for watching. It's been an honor to have shared this with you and thank you for your time. I'll see you in my next video.